What's up guys? I'm gonna run speed test on varying length Cat5 e cables from three feet, which is just under a meter, all the way to 300 feet, which is 91 meters. I'm gonna run it on a 10 gig switch. So we're gonna see how fast it can actually go. So I did a separate video where I compared different category cables and there were a lot of comments in there basically saying, hey, if you can run this with longer cables, that would make for a much better test. So I went to Amazon, bought a few more cables. Let's get started with these. We're gonna concentrate on local speed tests. So on my Windows machine, I opened up the Open Speed Test Server app and I've clicked Start Server. So I mean, I could click Stop and then click Start again. And I basically, with my Mac Mini, I just need to go to this IP address. So this currently is my Windows machine. Open speed test server is running, which is making my computer into a local speed test server. And I'm gonna switch HDMI sources to my Mac. And my Mac is basically going to go to that IP address uh, for the other computer. So if I were to unplug the cable right now and refresh this page, it would say it's not connected because the Wi-Fi is also off on the Mac. And if I were to open up the speed test, it would say you're not connected to the internet. So now I'm going to connect the, we're going to start off with the three foot cable, which is the one meter cable. And I connected it. I'm going to refresh. It takes a second or two for it to register. And now I'm going to click start. Again, this is a local speed test. So my Mac mini, this is the one with the M2 Pro chip. It has the 10 gigabit ethernet card on there. And my Windows machine also has the 10 gigabit card on there. And the switch I'm using also supports 10 gigabit speeds. In fact, I recently reviewed this switch by Netgear. It's an awesome switch, just as a heads up. But everything's going through the 10 gig switch and we're getting, you know, 9.8, almost 9.8 down and we're pretty much getting that for the upload as well. Not quite, but close enough to it. And, you know, it could also be the quality of the cable as well, but it's close enough that we're, we're getting to roughly around those speeds. So, oh, and I should mention, let's, let's actually kick off another speed test. So just to just, I'll throw in some full duplex tests in there. Um, this is not the best way of doing a full duplex test, but while the local speed test is doing, when it finishes the download and it starts doing an upload, I'll actually kick off. Okay. So I'm going to kick off the download speed test on the internet. This is, this is not the best way of doing a full duplex test, but it is demonstrating that on an internet speed test I'm downloading now and on this, the upload test, I was uploading. Now it, it started uploading <laughs> while this was wrapping up the uploading. So the speeds were a little bit slower, uh, but we were pretty much getting those full speeds as you guys saw until the internet speed test started doing an upload. So full duplex ethernet is full duplex by default. Um, in, in fact, it is full duplex. Uh, it supports full duplex and, um, a full duplex just means that it can send and receive at the same time. So I connected the 15 foot cable, which is around four and a half, close to five meters. So we're going to see how well this one does. So pretty much getting the full, just about full 10 gig speeds on this one. Slightly less, but I mean, just basically there. And for the upload as well. So there it is. Upload is doing just fine as well. So 9.7, 9.7 basically with the 15 foot cable. I got the 35 foot connected, which is a little over 10 meters. We're going to kick off a speed test for this one. Let's see how well this one does. So yeah, I mean, it's still getting just about those full 10 gig speeds. So even at over 10 meters, slightly over 10 meters, you're still getting which, which to me is kind of, I mean, I get it that it's a wire. I get that the better cables have better shielding and all this other stuff. But I mean, it's still impressive to me because for years I've read cap 5 e is capped to gigabit speeds. You know, it always points it out as gigabit speeds. And, and I mean, we're getting full 10 gigs even on a 35 foot cable. Now I have the 50 foot cable, which is about 15 meters. So we're getting pretty long at this point. So but still, looks like we're still getting the full uh, 10 gig speeds. In fact, let me do a full duplex with this guy. So once it's done with the download, I'll kick off the upload. Give it a second. The internet speed test finishes a little quickly. Well, let's just see what happens with that. Okay, so that's going up. 
Okay, so it's not really slowing down. So yeah, 9.6 basically. So while I'm getting my full five gig internet speeds of both for the download and the upload here. But that was, again, not the best way of testing full duplex, but it's decent enough, but still pretty much even at 50 feet, still getting just about the full 10 gig speeds. Now we're getting serious with the 100 foot cable, which is around 30 meters. So I'm gonna kick off this test and uh, still going really, really fast. Still going really, really fast. Like the full 10 gig speeds basically. And the thing is when I connect the cable, my Mac mini picks it up real quick. So we'll see uh, the, with the longer cables, it, it takes a little bit of time for it to actually pick up. But there it is, we're, st we're still getting our full 10 gig speeds. And again, if I, let's let this finish. Let me kick off for another retest. Let me refresh the page. Let me click start. And just to show you guys, okay, we're getting those fast speeds and I'm gonna unplug the cable. And then plug it back in. Just to show you guys, like this is running live. It's not a different computer or anything like that. This is the computer that it's hooked up to. So, and, and, and the other, this is a good test too because when I unplug it, it's getting faster, I'm gonna unplug it. And then if I plug it back in, it just shows you how, is it okay it started picking up again so it shows you how quickly it starts picking up the speed like how quickly the mac mini sees this thing so i just connected the 200 foot cable which is around 61 meters and it took a while for my mac mini to re to recognize the cable and obviously speeds are much slower now i mean these are still very very fast speeds but it's much slower than the the 100 foot or 30 meter cable so somewhere in between from 30 meters to 61 meters, there's, there's a drastic slowdown in speed. And in fact, I want to show something. So we got 4.1 down and like around 4.9 up. So let me refresh this test. Let me click start. Let it connect. Let it start doing the test and I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to wait one second and I'm going to plug it back in. And it will not connect. I don't think it'll connect before the before the speed test is even done. It'll probably just like error out or something. So I it, it takes a long time. It, it it can't even connect. So when I first saw this, when I connected the the 200 foot cable, I it it, it took a while for it to connect, and it's pretty much now. If I refresh the page, because I see the switch with the lights on. So now it connected, so now I could run the test, but I mean, it took quite a long time. So I connected the 300 foot cable, which is a little above 91 meters, and it took a full 45 seconds for my Mac mini to recognize it. So definitely a lot slower than the other cables. So uh, it, it was even slower than the 200 foot cable uh, in terms of picking it up. But it looks like on the speed test, it's getting right around those uh, right around the same speeds, slightly slower than the than the 200 foot cable. Well, I, I guess for the upload, it's around the same. I mean, it's it's pretty much very similar. So between 61 meters and 91 meters, other than the computer taking some time to pick it up, uh, during the speed test, it looks like we're getting very similar results between those two distances. And again, I can kick off a, a speed test. We're gonna we could try the the not the most scientific way of doing a full duplex, but it's, it should be good enough. So again, when it gets to the upload, I'll kick off an internet speed test. So once, okay, so upload started, let's kick off an internet speed test. And uh, yeah, it's not affecting the, again, full duplex, even at 300 feet. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna get as fast speeds on my internet speed test, uh, but still getting, I mean, I'm genuinely impressed that a Cat 5e cable that I've read the specs for a very, 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 very long time, that it was limited to gigabit speeds, and I'm running these super long cables, and I'm, I mean, these are still, I, I, I was not expecting these results. So there's more network tests coming along. There's a iPerf3 version of this coming along. We're gonna test some other things. We're gonna test some drop packets as well. So, and, and there's a whole Cat6 
uh, length cable coming along. So there's basically a few network cable uh, videos coming along. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, leave comments in the comment sections below. If you guys have other suggestions on how I can test this, let me know. If I get enough feedback, I'll, I'll try to do that. So up until 30 meters, we're still getting solid performance from a Cat5e cable. Above that, we uh, when we went to 61 meters, it slowed down quite a bit. And from 61 to 91 meters, it was about the same other than the computer took longer to recognize it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. If you guys have other suggestions, let me know. If I get enough of those, I'll try my best to do it. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.